You recently got your brand new coolie loaches and you're asking, what do I feed them? What are the pH, GH, and temperature that they need? And where on earth do I put these guys? These and more questions will be answered in this video, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and without further ado, let's get started. Starting off with our water parameters, your coolie loaches will prefer a 6.0 to 7.5 pH. 75 degrees to 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 to 30 degrees Celsius is preferred by these tropical fish. And of course, like most fish, your ammonia should be at 0 ppm. Coolie loaches should have softer water with 0 to 5 dGH. DGH stands for degrees of general hardness. Moving on from water parameters, let's answer the question of what to feed your coolie loaches. Feeding your coolie loaches is more difficult than sprinkling some flakes on the top of the tank. While some coolie loaches will likely swim up to the top to feed, most of them are sticking to the bottom and they're not going anywhere near the rest of the fish. Their food needs to somehow sink to the bottom, be easy enough to find, and break into little particles. I'm going to share with you guys my little recipe for coolie loach food that I feed mine. The first thing you'll need is blanched, freezer burned spinach. Yes, it's freezer burned because it's easier to chop up and break into little pieces. Next, you'll take some Fluval Tropical Flakes and start mashing that up into little tiny powdery bits and start mixing it with the spinach. I know, I know, it looks really gross, but don't worry, it's actually not. Once it's mixed enough, you can form that into a little cube, and every time you want to feed your coolie loaches, just cut off a little chunk of that cube and drop it in the tank. As for storage, just pop it in a little container and freeze it. Like any other fish, your coolie loaches will need to eat once per day. This food works really well because it disintegrates and easily attracts all my loaches. Next question, how many should you get? Coolie loaches are actually pretty special amongst their own species. So the simple answer to that question would be a minimum of six. I always hear people going, oh, they're super shy, but actually they're not. I see mine way more than most of my beta fish. Think of it this way. The more coolie loaches you get, the more you'll see them. Easy, right? By now, you're probably wondering what the tank requirements such as size are for your coolie loaches. Most people would agree in saying that 20 gallons is the minimum tank size. However, I would disagree and say if you're providing the right stimulating environment, you'd be perfectly fine saying 10 gallons is a good minimum tank size. With your coolie loaches, you're going to want to try to mimic their natural habitat. Just to give you an idea what it looks like, here's a picture that I found on Google. Keep in mind that their natural habitat has slow moving waters, it's warmer tropical weather, there's lots of rocks and leaves and detritus and all kinds of things that they can hide in. So you got that big layer of mulm on the bottom of your tank? Perfect. Lots of caves and hiding spots? Lots of densely planted areas in your tank? They'll love you! So for an overall summary of what you'll need for your coolie loaches in your tank, you want plants, hiding spots, and don't forget clean, oxygenated water. The next question has a lot of, uh, conflict on it. This is going to be sand versus gravel for your coolie loaches. You can basically go anywhere on the internet and search coolie loach sand versus gravel and everybody will be saying sand as to not damage your coolie loaches. I do agree with that since coolie loaches have a lot of fun digging and sifting through the dirt and whatever for food, but I don't quite think it's actually that necessary. My tank has such a thick layer of mulm, they actually don't really have to dig to find food. They're constantly sifting out the dirt and looking for more munchies to eat. So if you're adding coolie loaches to a tank that's already well established and has lots of mulm on the bottom, you could probably get by going with gravel. Mine have been in gravel for several months now and they're doing just fine. However, if you're starting with a brand new tank, it's best to just err on the safe side and get some sand. That's just about all there is to cover on coolie loaches for beginners, and if you have any further questions about coolie loaches, just ask me in the comments and I will reply to you. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!